the best camera is the one that you have with you is one of the most frequently used photography quotes thanks to Chase Jarvis. But how true is it still? The cameras in phones, for example, are getting better and better. There's a five megapixel sensor on the, on the front, 12 megapixel on the back. You're gonna get 4K 30, you're gonna get 120 and 240 frames per second. The sensor in this camera is actually backside illuminated, so it's a very high-end sensor. But people are still buying point-and-shoots and, and entry-level DSLRs. I helped my partner get this T5 a couple of years ago and it was still as relevant as Caitlyn Jenner's transition. Canon's ergonomics got her and us both going quickly with this camera. You know, the funny thing is that most cameras that I see, most entry-level DSLRs that I see dangling from youths necks like a list of crimes against fashion sense you know are actually canon entry-level dslrs but you know canon's got something more akin to an economic force to deal with now than ever and that is the camera in your potato i mean uh sorry in your smartphone this camera isn't one that you can take everywhere with you and just get a casual snap or two it's too bulky. So is that a mirrorless camera in your pocket? Or are you just excited to see me? I recognize this isn't, this is a point and shoot, this isn't a mirrorless camera, but it, you know, I'm using it to emphasize the point. And that is that mirrorless cameras like the EOS M100 and the Alpha 5100 and the Alpha 6000, same with the M10, the Nikon J series, the XA series out of Fujifilm, the XE series also out of Fujifilm are very small cameras, and that's a primary selling point for these devices. So while there's myriad ways to differentiate mirrorless interchangeable lens cameras for people coming up from smartphones and point and shoots, usability is the primary factor. So what's the $9,000 Hasselblad X1D 50C mirrorless medium format camera have in common with the with a $500 EOS M100? So between the two, things like overheating and battery life aren't as big of concerns for their users as, you know, a touch up, a touch flip up screen that you can use a touch shutter and touch to focus. You know, those concerns are closer to bottle flipping or haul videos for you and I. So it seems then like the Alpha 5100 and the EOS M100 are really very similar cameras. You know, the difference being that the EOS M100 is like the nerdy friend that overheard there was a party happening and got invited, but for the wrong day. And this stands up with the kit lens. Canon's is, you know, larger, slower, less pocketable, less versatile. But oddly enough, that metaphor works in Canon's favor for two big reasons. First off, the Alpha 5100 is three years old, desperately in need of an update, although the sensor still on paper performs equivalently with the sensor, the ADD sensor that's in the EOS M100, you know, the backside illuminated sensors, the huge amounts of phase detect autofocus points, and just the, the rest of the refinements that are in the rest of Sony's cameras really make a big difference. And so when they can update that camera, that'll be a really big deal. But what that means is that consumers will, will respond better to the EOS M100 because it's quite simply a newer camera. And so by consumers, it will be seen to be as better just because it's newer. Canon's done something really special with the EOS M100, taking some pretty serious cues from the Hasselblad X1D 50C. They've made the camera, and more especially the menus, as far a cry from Sony as possible. And they've made the user experience as close to a smartphone as possible. But before you start crying, you know, bloody Nora, and, and decrying the uber scrubbiness of the people that would care about something like that, Remember that the $9,000 medium format mirrorless Hasselblad X1D 50C has a user experience that's functionally the exact same as the EOS M100. The X1D 50C ultimately navigates very similarly through the menus as the EOS M100 in Creative Assist mode. You can turn Creative Assist off, but why would you? Realistically, the biggest knock on Sony APS-C mirrorless E-mount systems is actually the menus. And the Alpha 5100 suffers from the same issue. The way forward with mirrorless interchangeable lens cameras is not only their objective performance, but also 
in what it's like to use them. And so in that way, the EOS M100 is a very strong example of what the way forward looks like.